Welcome back to the vlog. I was supposed to record yesterday and I totally forgot, so here we are. It's Tuesday, it's like four. I had a team meeting today. Miles is in the office, which makes it hard with the dog because we don't like to leave him for more than like three hours right now because he's three months, almost four though. So it's just hard to balance that. But I got back from the office, I did a couple notes and then I'll drop them off at the post office. I was gonna go to yoga at six. I had a snack, I had some tuna with lettuce, and this morning I had yogurt with this granola. I'll show you the granola. Also, I'll just show you both of my favorite things right now that I got at the store. So I've been shopping at Sprouts and I just love their snack options, but I saw someone eating this brand, a different flavor, but this flavor is so good. It's the Purely Elizabeth. Um, it's like a organic oats. This one's the vanilla chocolate chip. It's so good. I had it for the first time this morning with some yogurt. And then I just got this popcorn, the fiery hot flavor. It's, I think it's like the Buddha popcorn. Okay. No. It's the lesser eerie. I don't know how to say that, but it's this brand and it's so good. So I got those two things for snacks. And I love them. Anywho, I got a package from Daily Drills. So I was going to record a short, or I was going to record a video real quick so that I have it because I'm trying to post more TikToks. I'm doing 60 days of three videos a day, so we're seeing how that goes. And then tomorrow morning, we actually have a call with our wedding planner. So that'll be good to record that, actually. So I'm going to do that in the morning. But I'm going to unpack my Daily Drills. If you know anything about me, you know that I love daily drills. I honestly really only have two or three things from them, but every time they do a drop, I have to restrain myself from ordering something. This time I got the skirt. Let's open up the package. I only got one thing, but I'm really excited. I always love their, I listened to their podcast actually, I learned a lot about their branding. And I know that they chose this green color because it reminds them of the outdoors. So the skirt that I ordered is the light blue silky skirt. I, I don't think it has an actual name. This is the packaging. I love the exclamation point on all of their packaging and in their logo. Oh my gosh, just open that up. Okay, so I got a size small, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. I feel like they changed their packaging a little bit. But it's so cute, it actually smells good. Is that weird? It smells good. So I got this and it's a light blue color. I thought it'd be really fun for spring and summer. Um, Colorado is actually, it's not very warm here right now, so I don't know if I'll be able to wear this for Easter. And I also probably would like to have a tan on with this, but super cute. Obviously they put their logo on everything. So on the back here, they have the daily drills. The material is so soft. And it's actually pretty lightweight, so I'm excited to try this on. 115 crates because they have this restriction that after 125 people for the ceremony, it's mandatory to put marquee for the plan B for the ceremony. And you have to rent the venue one day before and one day after, okay? And uh, uh, you have to put the marquee for the plan B, even you use it or not. Got so it. And the last one is about the tent. Is that what that techno thing is? It's a tent. Yes. Okay. Yes. And in the beginning, uh, the manager of the villa didn't told us the detail for this reason I told you. Let me go there to check site inspection, to see in person, to ask this all this type of question to the venue and to try to find the uh, the way. So after all this site inspection, I put down like breakdown cost, more reasonable breakdown cost, and know how much it will be. Paid 160 inside at no additional cost. So that's why I was still like a little confused on the over 125. So. <laughs> Italians are getting married all in church. They are Catholic. 
probably need to it's only five that's rooms fine. in there, so it's not like everybody's going to stay. Right, there, no, I know. I just don't like the getting ready photos that I've seen. Pluses of one, one venue and the pluses of another venue. So, pluses of Girl Ruskoni that I really like is... We're looking out a couple of houses today, one in the Rhino neighborhood and then one down in Bilcaro. Both are potentially for clients, but I just wanted to see. This one, the one that I'm in right now is in Rhino. It's new construction. I believe they scraped and rebuilt. 1,500 square feet, so I was interested to see how they utilize the space. It's pretty open here. All the finishes are great. I love them. They're very high quality. They did a great job on the construction. However, in terms of the location, you're on the park. However, this neighborhood in specific, they are tearing down and building a lot. So, um, not exactly sure how this client will feel about that. Everything is also in close proximity to, to the neighbor. With that being said, don't know if that's gonna be a make or break, and I also do think a lot of things in this neighborhood are going to be like that. So I wanted to just give you a quick tour. It is not staged, but I wanted to show you the finishes because I do like what they really did. So here's the front door. Nice and redone. Like I said, everything here is redone and close proximity to the park. But like I said, it looks like they're building and tearing down a lot in this neighborhood. So Rhino is really close to downtown. It's almost like they're trying to make it more of a low high. If you're new to the Denver area, that's just some different feedback from this neighborhood. It looks like they put in light LVP. I really like the feel because it gets a lot of sunlight. It's very bright. They added some really nice light fixtures. You could add a dining table here. It might be a little tight if you wanted to do your living room space here, but I do think it would work. And then you have nice and new big windows and then it opens up to the kitchen. I like the color palette that they chose here. So it's like a light gray cabinet and I really do love the waterfall um, countertops. Sorry, I couldn't think. And then the backsplash is beautiful. I'm obsessed with this backsplash in this color palette right now. They have a nice hood on the gas range. The cabinets go up pretty high, so you have really good cabinet space. It's even above the fridge here. They have a nice big sink and all of the gold hardware. So like I said, all of the finishes that they chose are very nice. And then you have a door to the backyard, but it's very tight, very small backyard. You have two bedrooms and or I guess you could probably use them as an office down here with access to the backyard. And then over here you have a nice bathroom, similar color palette to the kitchen with the backsplash. Okay, so they don't have a lot of things in my size, but I saw this the other day and I wanted to try it on. And I really like the color of it and the fit and it's glossy, or not glossy, but it's shiny a little bit. These are way too big, but this color is so cute. This one is so cute. I am obsessed. I think I'm gonna get this and the green one and order the sweatsuit in a smaller size. So I just got back from that showing or viewing that property and then I went to go see the second one, but the code didn't work. So I just ran over to Target and I grabbed a couple of things. My friend, Kelsey just got a puppy, a golden retriever puppy. And when I got Rip Kim, she got me a cute gift. So I wanted to get Maple something. Maple is the name of her dog and they had cute Easter stuff there. So I got this chocolate bunny for the dog. And then I needed to grab some dishwasher soap. So I got some of that. And then they had really, really cute clothes. I wanna go back and see if they can restock stuff because they had really cute just like linens and linen more work stuff, but it was obviously target prices, so it's great. And, but they didn't have my size in anything. Like all the pants I found were double XLs or XLs and, and then I would find a top, a matching top that I liked and it was a small, but then they didn't have shorts to go with it. Or I found a pair of shorts I really liked and then they didn't have the top. So 
I'm going to go back and see if they restock because the Target I go to is a super Target down the street and they usually have a bunch of stuff. But I wanted to get Easter candy or set Easter candy out so I just got some of these Reese's peanut butter tie-dye eggs and then I got this little dish to go with it and so I'll set this on the counter. But that's it. And we're getting a huge snowstorm when well, we're supposed to. Sometimes they say that and it doesn't happen, but it's supposed to start raining tonight. It's pretty cold out and it's dark, so I do actually think that we're going to get something. But they're saying that on Thursday we're going to get like a foot of snow or something crazy. Now, it always happens in Colorado. Like, I never think April, but my mom says March, April. March for sure, but April usually warms up a little bit more. I'm hoping that this is the last big snowstorm. Not that we really had a ton of snow this winter. We've had like probably two or three decent snowstorms, but nothing crazy and it's always sunny. So it usually melts off fairly quickly. So like right now we don't have any snow in our backyard, but probably tonight and tomorrow when I um, wake up in the morning, there'll be a little bit. If not, I think it's supposed to snow all day tomorrow. I don't know if it starts tonight or if it just starts raining tonight, but we're going to hunker down. I need to finish reading my book because I'm reading fourth. Well, I finished fourth wing and then I'm reading iron flame right now. And we we're supposed to meet two weeks ago and we keep pushing it back. We're going to meet on Monday. So I need to finish that. I'm only on page 200 and, then, and it's 600 pages. So I need to catch up on that. I was going to go to the office and print some things out for door knocking. However, since we're getting that snowstorm, I didn't really think it was worth it because I can just wait until the snow melts off. So I'm going to start working on that next week. Hopefully it'll be a little warmer. I think this weekend's 60s, like in a little bit sunny. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so that's where we're at. What are you doing? <laughs> I just got back from taking him around the block and it's definitely dropping temperature wise and then it was raining a little bit and there's some thunder it's like a static thunder so I don't think there's actually lightning but I am gonna make dinner I got some chicken breast to make I'm gonna make that first and then add it to the pesto pasta I'm making I got all this from sprouts so I got this pasta the spirally noodles and then I'm going to add some tomatoes and I'm gonna try this vegan basil pesto and see if it's any good and then after that I'll probably read and then I wanted to watch the Love Island. I think the finale is on tonight and Survivor. Why are you soaking wet? Why are you soaking wet? So it's a snow day. It's been snowing since last night at like nine. We've been playing in the snow all day. He loves the snow, but he gets, I don't know if it's his poodle hair or what, but he gets like snowballs all over. So I just rinsed him off. We've been playing out there for, I don't know, like 30 minutes. And then he played out there earlier this morning while Miles shoveled. Miles thought he was going to the office today and his office is closed. So um yeah but hopefully the snow plows did a good job so that it will be better tomorrow stop and yeah so i got some work done today i did my taxes thank god it takes forever to do that it took me like three and a half hours so i finished that and then i'm gonna clean up now that i played with him outside okay thought his energy levels would be a lot lower but we're out of control so I'm going to clean up and probably do, I'm going to clean like the stairs, reorganize some things, maybe try and organize the bedroom downstairs because there's a ton of stuff down there. And yeah, we'll see where the day takes us, but, and then I'll make bison quinoa hash tonight for dinner. I also on my list to do is to read my book, but I haven't got any of that done today. So maybe I'll get to that. Um, but the rest of the day is pretty much free. So. We are going to get started on some cleaning.
me just rearrange this to what it was before we had Rifkin and we put the chair back with the side table and we also had moved that prior to getting him because we had the Christmas tree over there. So we just moved that back and it opened it up a little bit more. We had his bed over just in the middle of the room but now we moved it over here and I got this basket or found this basket downstairs. I was gonna get one the other day but I had a feeling I had one of these. So I'm putting all of his toys in his toy basket. <laughs> He's confused. And then I'm going to switch out this cover with the nice cover that we got him. It's the boucle cover. This is from Barney, I think. Yeah, Barney. And then, like I said, this is a little bit better. Put his toys away. And then I'm going to put this cover on. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.